Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Abhijit and today in this video I will explain you how to mask deactivate the user account with the help of Salesforce data loader tool. And before this I would like to introduce our newly launched Salesforce admin course and also I will mention the course link in the description from where you can access the course. So first let me show you the course. So this is the Salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and I will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course. So these are the modules that we have covered in this course. So it's a beginner to advanced level Salesforce course and it, there are 9 plus modules and 20 plus hours SD video. And you will also get the PDFs and the certification after the completion. And also there is an offer for 50% discount for the early birds. So, so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course. And if you subscribe this course right now, you have to pay only $99 instead of $199. So even if you are a beginner, then you will understand each and everything in this course. And to get this code, you can redirect to our website. And from there, you can subscribe to this course. So now let's move back to our topic. So in Salesforce, we often need to manage the user accounts efficiently. And this user account consists of large data sets. And mass deactivating users is a common task that can be done efficiently using the Salesforce data loader. We can also deactivate the user from the user setup window, but, uh, but it will be very time consuming when you will go to the record of each user and then deactivate it. So it's better to use the data loader tool in order to deactivate the user's account. So let's move ahead to see the process of mass deactivating the user's account with the help of data loader and to do that make sure that you have already installed the data loader tool in your system and you have required access to update the user's account so right now i opened my salesforce console and first let me show you the users that we are going to deactivate with the help of the data loader and for that go to the quick find box and here search and select users and in the user setup window you can see the list of users that we are having in our org and as you can see right now the active status is checked for all of the users and from here i am going to deactivate some of these users from the list so to deactivate the user we first need to create a csv file and with the help of that we will update the active status of the users so to create a csv file we will export the data of the users for that uh, i will click on this export button and then I need to log in with my credentials. So now the login is successful and here we will search and select the user's data object. And then select the location for the CSV file in which the data will be extracted. And then click on the next button. And in this step we have to select the query fields. So here we need the fields ID and username and the is active status. And after selecting the query fields, click on the finish button and here click yes. So now as you can see the data is successfully extracted and now we need to get this data into a CSV file for that click on this button view extraction and then click on this button open in external program. Now the data will be visible in an external CSV file and from here we will modify the is active status of the users that we want to deactivate so these are the four users that i'm going to deactivate in this data operation so these are the four users noah nelson eva evans ethan ellis and sophia simmons so these are the four users that you can see on the screen that i'm going to deactivate so i have changed the his active status to the false for these users and after this i will remove the rest of the users that i don't need so the csv file is prepared and at last i will save this csv file in the system from where it can be accessed to the data loader and after the preparation of the csv file we will again run a data update operation to deactivate the user's account so now to deactivate the users we will run a data update operation and for that click on this update button and then search and select the user data object and after this select the csv file that we have created right now and then click on the next button as we click on the next button the data loader will initialize the csv file and display the number of rows in the csv file here click on the ok button to proceed and after this we have to map the object field to the csv header column for that click on the button create or edit a map and in the mapping dialog window click on the button auto match field to columns and after this click on the ok button and then click next and in this step select the location for the errors and success files that will occur during this data operation and then click on the finish button and as we click on the finish button a 
warning message will appear regarding the data update operation here click on the yes button and now the data operation will start then after its completion we will get message in the dialog box and after the completion of the update operation a dialog box will display the number of errors and success occurred during the data operation and here we can see that we got four successful updates with zero errors so here click on the ok button to close the data loader wizard and now in the salesforce console again go to the user setup window and in the user setup window you can see that the user we have deactivated now are unchecked in the active column so these are the four users ethan alice emma evans uh, noah nelson and these are the four users that we have deactivated using the salesforce data loader so following the same way you can must deactivate the salesforce users account using the salesforce data loader tool so this was all about the deactivation of the user's account with the help of Salesforce Data Loader tool. And I hope that you like this video. Then please do like, share and subscribe us. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos. And thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.